So it just kicked me off. Um, so I'm going to finish up chapter 2, February. Quickly, Shirley retraced her steps. Her heart raced even faster than the patter of her shoes on the sidewalk. Now right, now left. But the store had disappeared. There was just another house like all the others. For a while, she ran here and there. Uh, up every set of steps looking for the boat. It was getting dark. Finally, she was too tired to look anymore. She sat down on the curb. Perhaps someone would come to her rescue, but no one passed. She was alone. Her hands were stiff from the cold. Tears fell on the cellophane. She didn't care. What had gone wrong, she asked herself. The directions were clear. Right, left, store. Right, right, home. Suddenly, she knew. She had gone to a second store and forgotten to start back from the first. Knowing did not help. She would never find the skinny man with the big red nose or the woman who read. She would never have another chance. What a fool she was. Nothing but a fool. Utterly ashamed, she hid her face in her arms. Someone tapped her on the shoulder. Looking up, she saw father. He offered his hand, but not a word of rebuke. Silently, they walked hand in hand. With each step, she felt better. At the first corner, they met Mr. Tan. At the second, Mr. Who. And so it went until all the guests had joined them. Not a one was unkind enough to mention why she was out roaming the streets. As they passed the cigarette store, Father began to sing. It was a marching song. One soldier sang when they returned victorious from battle. Everyone joined in. Later, Shirley wrote a letter to Fourth Cousin and boasted how she had triumphed on her very first day in Brooklyn. Naturally, she did not mention the little mishap. Why worry the clan unnecessary? Unnecessarily, she would never be lost again. So that is the end of the f chapter two, February, um, and that those two.